Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and tonight we're going to be getting in the spirit and supplementing some Christmas items. So I recently did an unboxing on some items and I got some Christmas ornaments and I got some pillowcases and then thank you Heat Transfer Warehouse. They just sent me over these nice hats and these stockings. So we're going to be supplementing some Christmas things tonight. These you can get from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I'm not going to supplement all of them, but they come in different colors. These are like glitter stockings. These are really nice. But I'm not going to supplement all of them because I'm not going to even tell y'all what time it is. Oh, Lord, look at my face. Yeah, I just know I am tired. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing you all behind the scenes of my business while I'm giving you tips and tricks to help you grow yours. Now let's get in the spirit right after the intro and supplement some items. material it is I don't know what material it is but it's nice and shiny and glittery but I'm going to supplement the smaller ones because they kind of go with my decor a little bit I do have some buffalo check buffalo plaid downstairs I wish they were both red but just to give you a variety of what they have on the website these are really nice so you can supplement these I can't wait to supplement these pillows so for the sake of time I already went ahead and printed out my designs now I got all my designs from creative fabrica I always talk about the site so I want to keep showing you different varieties what things you can get on there just in case we haven't seen it so I'm gonna put this on like one of the little hats and then I have um, some nice designs that I'm going to cut out. So today I'm going to be reviewing this sublimation paper from Crafts by Jay. They hit me up on Instagram and wanted me to review it and test it out and see if I liked it. And honey, when I tell you these colors came out so vibrant, they were popping. Now y'all know I love and live by ASUB, but take a look at how my luggage tag came out after I sublimated. I'm going to link it down below. If you're interested, you can hit them up, Crafts by Jay on Instagram. Because I'm about to take flights soon. So I'm going to be showing y'all how I did my luggage tags. And of course, I did me some new masks. And this is all using this sublimation paper. So I just wanted to test it out first before I went and put it on the actual pillows. And I like the sublimation paper. I had no issues with it. It came out so bright and vibrant. So we're going to go ahead. And this video is going to be really short and sweet and quick. And we're going to go ahead on over to the heat press. So I have my heat press set to 375 at 60 seconds. Now, of course, you can put vinyl on here, but I'm not doing all that because it is late. I'm just going to cut around my design a little bit. My smoke detector is going off. I just changed the battery and I think I took it out to check it. And now I can't put it back in the right way. So I don't know what's going on with my smoke detector but those batteries are new. So I just went and tried to find, you know, some cute little designs that I could find on the site, something simple. Now I'm gonna bring this down because of that. And let's see how well because that part is raised. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Of course, I'm gonna apply butcher paper over it and I'm just gonna close that up. I'm using my Ricoma heat press tonight. It seems to really lock in really well. I'm gonna go through all these really quick. We're gonna do these ornaments, everything. 
Okay, that was 60 seconds. This is my first time sublimating this type of hat. So let's see how this came out. And this is a glitter, you know, hat. This is hot. Ooh, that came out nice. Look at those colors. Merry Christmas, y'all. Whoa, that's hot. Ooh, baby. That came out so nice. So you can get these nice little hats from Heat Transfer Warehouse. The link will be down below. Let's keep rocking and rolling. So I'm just gonna cut around this. So again, I got all these designs from Creative Fabrica. If you use my link down below, you sign up for your first month, you get all access to every single thing for only $1, $1. And then of course, after that, then your subscription is $19. You can cancel whenever you want. But listen, for one month, I would be downloading everything <laughs> if you didn't want to keep it. But I kept my subscription because it's just an awesome site. They have fonts, they have, I mean, they have literally everything. So we're gonna supplement this one. Did I put, all right. Make sure. Uh, and also you have to always mirror your image. Don't forget to mirror your image. Don't forget to flip your image because you do need to print in reverse when you are supplementing. Butcher paper. And down for 60 seconds. Ooh, what is going on? It's sticking. Oh, it's melting. Oh, my goodness. Do y'all see that? What in the world? Okay, okay, well, I'm gonna have to clean that up, but what happened? I don't know what happened. Oh, the ball, I think this had a ball at the top. It sure did. This had like a little ball at the top and it melted on my dang arm heat press. Oh, wow. Okay, so that just messed up the stocking bummer all right so nevertheless this came out so nice i love that um the texture of this i love this type of fabric this came out so nice okay we're gonna keep it rocking and rolling because it is late and i am just going to not put anything up there and clean that off once once the heat press cools down so I'm going to do the next one, and I'm pretty sure that this one is going to come out nice as well. Um, I could have did them a little smaller. I did them, like, kind of big. Well, I measured the space, but it probably would have looked better if it was a little smaller. Okay, butcher paper on that, making sure that that is not near that at all. I hate that that got on my heat press. All right, let's take this off. Woo, baby, that's hot. Listen, these supplement so great. Look at that. That's the mom stocking. I couldn't find one in that color, so I had to go with that one. And of course, my son is not a baby, but I just wanted to make them match. So, and I'm just showing you guys the different designs that you can print out from Creative Fabrica. So all these files on that site so now I'm gonna do these little ornaments and I think I'm gonna take these strings off because I want to try to get like a full bleed I'm not sure how big um, but I don't want them to melt I don't want anything so I am gonna remove the strings again if you did skip ahead or anything I did get these um, from Condi 
So now I have these cute little images. Of course, I got this one. This is like a monogram reindeer font that I got from the site as well. And I just added a little photo. You know, I just wanted a photo on one of them. So we're going to see how this sublimates. And this is, you know, um, you can probably do front and back. I did print out two. The image is in reverse. So let's see what happens. And I'm going to tape them both together. Taping them both together. And I want it to move. And let's see if we can supplement both sides. Because this will be a first. You know, it's a picture. And I will definitely be hanging this on my tree. That's a cute one. And so now this one I'm just gonna do with the monogram. Did I print two of these? I sure did. Let's do both of them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that there. I'm gonna add butcher paper. I still got this hanging. It's like melted. I'm just not gonna put anything back there. All right, 60 seconds again, closing down. Here we go. Ooh, this thing is so tight, so firm, it pops up with so much force. Now, I really want to see how these turned out. I'm excited to see these. I can, y'all already trying to look, take a sneak peek. Look at that. Let's see if it, oh, it didn't supplement both sides. It did not do both sides. I think it had to be up. But that came out nice. So you can get this in any letter. And when it's on the tree, it's only going to be on one side anyway. So I'm pretty sure this did the same thing. Only did one side. <laughs> I want both sides. It's so hot. It's so hot. Ooh. Guys. Guys, that came out so nice. Now, don't think that's ghosting. That's my actual image. The light from where we took the picture, where the light shines on us. Uh, I could have moved it over a little bit. It's hard to see. You can see the line. I was trying to get a full, I was trying to get the image big enough so that way it can do like full bleed, but it would have cut off the face. So you can see like the edges of the lines, but that is okay. But that is so vibrant. Look at, right, let me cut the ring light off just so you guys can really see it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That came out so nice. I just wish it was, you know, you know, full bleed, end to end. But that came out nice. This is some excellent sublimation paper. I just forgot the name of it, so I will definitely be hanging that. Okay, because I do not want to mess up my pillow. I'm going to put that there. And I'm getting ready to supplement this nice pillow. I'm excited. I have two different images. So I want to make sure I get it as centered as possible. Um, that looks about centered. So we're going to go with that. I can't really tell if it's straight or not, but... Let's go for it. And I definitely have to get butcher paper to cover that. So I'm just going to raise it up. So that way nothing gets on it. And I'm just going to put an extra piece as well. Here we go. My first, whoa, too thick. Take some of that pressure off. Here we go. Loosen the pressure just a little bit. Alrighty. Let's see how that... Okay, I hope that didn't go through my pillow. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad if that came through. Okay, it didn't. Good. Here we go, guys. Okay, let's see how this came out. Let's see if this is worthy enough to go on my couch this Christmas. These colors are popping. 
Look at that. And I have the pillow and I'm going to stuff it and everything for you guys. Those colors came out so good. They came out so good. You can just see a little bit right there from where the paper was. But that came out so nice. Let's do the other pillow and then we're going to stuff them. So now the pillows are, you know, that one is more whiter. This one is more cream, more tan. I like this color better. Now this one I tried to go as big as I could with the paper. Try to get it as centered as possible. Cut the picture paper. Well, that's about good. I'm just gonna put remove this one and get a new one to put up here. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Look how all those colors came up on here. That's some really good sublimation paper. Now I wonder how Asa will do with this. This one was the one that I really have liked, this design. So let's see how this pillowcase came out. Let me show you guys can see. Oh, I'm get, why am I getting that on the side? There's nothing there. That just messed it up. There's nothing on the paper that was green, so I wonder why it's doing that. That's really weird, but that came out so nice. Don't y'all like that? I like that. I'm mad about that. That just messed up my pillow. I'm gonna shut this heat press down. Now let's go stuff these. Y'all like my hat? <laughs> so these are the larger stockings, the sequence ones that come in pink or white. And of course these are the smaller ones. Now I went and bought some pillows. I had to buy pillows because I knew I was gonna be doing pillows. These are the 16 inches. At first I bought 18 inches and they were just way too big. So I'm busting this bag open, but I hope they fit. Um, Cause all I could do is just put it up to it. So it should fit. Let's see how this looks inside. So they have the zipper. Well, this one has the pouch. And you just stuff this little pillow inside. You can buy them in one pack or you can buy them in two pack. So I just got the two pack because I knew I had two pillows. I love throw pillows. So now you can make your own pillows. Christmas pillows are expensive. Like really expensive. Put the tag on the inside. This is a perfect fit. 16 inches fit perfectly for these pillows that you can supplement. Oh baby, oh baby, look at that pillow. Little small, nice little dainty pillow. Okay, that's one pillow. Let's do the next one. I might get like a marker or something, do something with that. I love this, um, this color, like the twill khaki. And it go, that's why I put this um, design on this one, because I knew this one would go better with that one. They have so many different designs that you can choose. That green is like really bothering me. Here are my nice little Christmas pillows. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then I have this to match as well. And my nice little ornaments this one came out double sided so this was supplemented on both sides this one would not supplement on the other side but i'm pretty sure you can supplement this side as well i don't know why i didn't take on that one um it was much thicker probably but look at it it came out so nice so now it's not too late for you to go get your hands on some holiday decor while items are still in stock and if you're interested in anything the links will be down below in the description box remember these came from condi everything else came from heat transfer warehouse Guys, have a happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and blessings. And we can put this one 
right here. Nice little K. And I see the perfect spot for this one right here. That looks so nice. And here's a new addition of the pillows on my chair. Merry Christmas, everyone.